Hour by hour forecast to plan your day and track when severe weather heads your way. All in the palms of your hands. Download the free Fox 8 weather app for your favorite device today. Here's some things you probably don't know about Dudley DeBosier. My favorite way to relax is sitting down with a good book. Me? I have four kids. I haven't relaxed in 20 years. But despite our differences, there's one important thing we have in common. We're lawyers who love helping people. Demand Dudley DeBosier. On the scene with breaking news, download the Fox 8 app for your streaming device today. Welcome back at 922. The Heimlich Maneuver is an important part of first aid, especially since choking is the fourth leading cause of unintentional injury death. There's no better time to learn it than on, of course, National Heimlich Maneuver Day. Injury Prevention and Performance Improvement Coordinator Suzanne Weidenbacker from Lakeview Regional Hospital joins us now to demonstrate an important skill set that many of us uh, need to know how to do. So let's talk about uh, the Heimlich Maneuver and choking. Choking kills thousands of people every single year. Yes, it does, especially um, at restaurants. If you see people who are eating fast or large pieces of food, they don't chew. They just want to hurry up and Yeah, we were and talking eat. about that during yes. the commercial break, mm -hmm. that a lot of choking happens um, in adults when they're eating just too fast. Right, right. Steaks, and, and we get a lot of people at the hospital like that. Yes, really? yes. Mm -hmm. With it's children, though, food is also a big reason why they, they suffer from choking. Yes, um, especially things like hot dogs. That's the number one, um, because it's just the right size to fit into a, a baby or child's airway. So you have popcorn, peanut butter, anything thick like that that can't move. Um, certain types of candy, um, small pieces of chicken, things like that that can get caught in the airway. That's a good thing to know uh, ahead of, well, we're here in summer, school's out and a lot of pool days, beach time, outdoor activities with kids and hot dogs, of course, is a big lunch time and popcorn, mm -hmm. grapes, mm -hmm. things like that. Yes. So what are some ways that I guess parents can, if they're gonna serve up those items, what are some safe ways? Cut them in smaller pieces instead of just the right size, those round, you know, like if you cut a, a, a wiener, it's, you know, they just kind of slice it. I would cut it up and make Maybe four pieces. Okay. Yeah, smaller pieces. So instead of and the rounds, maybe just cut, cut yes, the round in cut half. Cut the round in yep. half or in fourths. Yes. And, and, no and make sure they chew. Make sure they're cheap. Make, make sure they chew enough. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're going to demonstrate the Heimlich maneuver on an adult form, and then we have a, a baby over here as well. Right. So the proper way to to do the Heimlich. Okay, so a lot of times if you're in a restaurant, you'll see somebody uh, coughing uh, forcefully. So they're coughing, 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 and you know that they're trying to clear their airway. Food went down the wrong tube. Basically, it went to their airway tube. So what you want to do is you want to watch them, and you know. You want to, you want them to cough, but you know that it could possibly get worse because while they're coughing, they are breathing and they are talking. Yes, they're they're they still breathing, so they're okay. But it could progress worse, and that that's where you have to in, have to intervene. So what you want to do is. The first thing you do is you do five back blows. So you're gonna go behind the, the person, you want them standing up, you want them to bend over like this, okay? And you're gonna support them like that, and then you're gonna do five back blows, not pats, back blows. One, two, three, four, five, okay? And if the object is not dislodged, or you know they don't spit it out across the room, um, then you're gonna start with the Heimlich Maneuver. And what you wanna do is you wanna find your landmarks. You want the belly button and you want under the rib cage. So you're looking at this, you're, you're gonna go right here in this middle abdominal area. And what you wanna do is form a fist, take your hand over your fist, and then you're going to do thrust movements in okay. and up like that. Just like that, and it's got to be forceful because what you're doing is you're you've got your diaphragm and other your other internal organs here. You want to push that up into and the pressure in the chest cavity to dislodge. So use your body weight, like you. Yes, use you, all you your will have to use all your strength to get that um, thrust going in there and force that food out. So you keep doing that. A lot of times, um, if the object is not dislodged, then they'll pass out yeah. because what happens is. Um, it is blocking their airway. Right. So your brain's not getting oxygen. Yeah. So you're gonna pass out. Well, we're almost yeah. out of time. Show us how, uh, let's move on to the baby now. If a, okay. This is scary. If a baby is yes. choking, how do you perform the so Heimlich on a baby? So you don't wanna do a Heimlich maneuver on a, a one year old, a 12 month, a baby to 12 months. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're going to flip them over. You don't, you don't wanna cover their mouth. You wanna give them five back, black boat, back same as the adult, one, two, three, four, five, 
flip them over, support the head, and then do, do five chest thrusts here. Okay. Okay, and you're gonna keep doing that until they lose consciousness also. Then when, if they lose consciousness, you have to get them on the ground, an adult or a baby, and you start doing CPR. CPR. Yes. Call 911, all of yes. those things. Call 911. Um, Heimlich yes. maneuver cannot be performed on a child zero to 12 months. Correct. Okay, so anything Correct. older than 12 months, older. you can start doing the, performing yes. the Heimlich. The Heimlich like maneuver you would on an adult. It. Yes. Suzanne, thank you so much for being here. This is important okay. safety tips, especially as we get into the summer months, um, but we appreciate you being here and showing us okay. this important skill. Thank you very much. All right, coming up, Louisiana Attorney General Jeff Landry plans to announce a lawsuit against FEMA. We'll explain how he hopes to address the agency's risk rating 2.0 system. And we're tracking a Gulf low. Coming up, I'll tell you what it means for our rain chances.